Let's write a C program to convert a number from decimal number system to octal number system. In general, binary number system uses base 2 and digits 0 and 1. Octal number system uses base 8 and digits 0 to 7. And decimal number system uses base 10 and numbers that is digits from 0 to 9. Hexadecimal number system uses base 16 and digits 0 to 9 and then alphabets A, B, C, D, E and F. Let's get back to octal number system. Zero, 8 rise to 0 is 1, 8 rise to 1 is 8, 8 rise to 2 is 64 and so on. If user enters decimal number 20, we check that number against each number here which is less than 64. Let's get back one step. So 20 is greater than 8. So 8 into 2 is 16. So 20 minus 16 is 4. 4 is remaining. So 1 into 4 is 4. So 16 plus 4 is 20 which is user entered number in decimal system. So, so this indicates 2 into 8, 1 into 4 equals decimal number 20. So in hexadecimal it's 24. Another method is let's divide 20 by 8. 2 8s are 16, reminder is 4. So 2 and 4 we need to write like this. So uh, octal representation of decimal number 20 is 24. Let's check this with a snippet of code. We initialize reminder is equal to 0, place is equal to 1. Number modular division 8 means reminder is 4. The next line octal is equal to octal plus reminder into place becomes 4. Next num is equal to num divided by 8. So place is equal to place into 10. Now again the while loop. So reminder becomes 2, oct becomes 24. Number is equal to num modular number divided by 8. Num becomes 0. Place is equal to place into 100. Place becomes 100. Now while loop. Num is equal to 0. So while loop exits. So decimal equivalent. So octal equivalent of decimal 20 is 24. Let's write the actual C program now. Okay, so I'll initialize variables. Uh, oct is equal to zero. Reminder is equal to zero. Place is equal to one. That is units place. Unit ten, hundred, thousand, etc. So place is equal to one, which means it's in units units place right now. So I'll ask the user to enter a decimal number. Remember decimal number means it has base 10, so 0 to 9 digits. So I'll store that value inside the address of variable num. While this num is not equal to 0, so we can just write while num. I'll reduce the reduce this number, that is num is equal to num divided by how much? 8, because we are converting it to octal. Now place, I'll increment the place from units place to ten tenths place. For next iteration it will go to hundreds place etc. So the reminder is equal to num modulo division 8. Okay now oct is equal to oct plus reminder into the place. So that's it. Very very simple logic. Okay. Now I'll output a nice message to the user that octal equivalent of percentage d that is present inside num that is variable num is I'll output the result after this while loop percentage d slash n new line character comma the result is present in a variable oct so that's it so let us check it let me compile and execute the program so decimal 16 so octal equivalent of decimal 16 is 20 Okay, let me check for another number, slightly bigger number. So octal equivalent of decimal 41 is 51. Observe here, uh, the octal equivalent digits isn't going above 0 to 7. Okay, so octal equivalent of 90 is 132. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.